Hey everybody, today I want to talk about a wireless option for those of you that use Mr. and uh, want to do the uh, NFC reading. Uh, so um, let's go ahead and get into it. So what used to be known as Tap2 uh, has recently been changed to Zapparoo. Um, but all the options that are out there have always been tied to the device. So like you see here, uh, these are all basically something that you would need at a desktop. You slide the card in, you tap at the location of where your mister is but what if you have a mister like you know in a home entertainment center uh, well this is where Zapparoo comes in so Zapparoo is an app that you can actually download on your phone uh, so that's what I'm doing right here is just kind of typing in the search in the uh, store and it's right there so you, what you want to do is go ahead and get that it is a free app but it does have one of the options or the abilities that it has is a paid function so to be able to uh, launch games from your phone wirelessly uh, that's $6.99, but I think that's a you know that's a great price to one support the developer, but also um, you know be able to launch your games from your phone. So that's what this is right here. This is a demonstration. So there's my phone right there. I have some NFC cards and my controllers ready to go. I'm sitting there at my chair, and I you know I don't want to tap at the uh, at the Mister. I don't want to slide the card in. So I'm going to use the app. So I'm I tap a little um, you know the button there to scan. And here I'm going to have an NFC card that's ready for uh, Polestar for the Neo Geo. And I'm basically just going to slide it into this holder. So I'll have links to the holder. Uh, I'll even offer a link to the um, to the app itself uh, to say, you know, you, you can support the developers. But try it out for yourself too. See if it's something you like. Now with the app, uh, you're able to, uh, you know, program cards with it and read uh, cards and see what the content is and you know there's a lot of uh, functionality in the app itself but if you want to do like wireless launching I mean it's definitely worth $6.99 if you think about like all the 3d printed stuff and the things that are out there um, the devices I mean it's gonna cost you at least that much just to get that stuff printed uh, unless you have a printer at home but even then you've already you know paid a pretty penny to, to get that printer but um, so there I am just you know simply launching a game Every time I launch a game, I'm sure there's a function to where, you know, when you take the card out, it starts to read again. Um, but, I mean, I'm, I'm already there, uh, you know, sitting there. So it doesn't hurt for me to just tap that little button to, to scan for the next uh, game. So there I am removing the card and I'm going to, you know, start it. I've already launched another game, which was Samurai Showdown 2. So this is the last game I'm going to launch is Axley. I'm tapping again. I'm going to slide in uh, Axley for the Super Nintendo. And there it goes. It, it goes right into launching it. I have my controller. I'm sitting down, relaxing. I don't have to get up. I don't have to tap. I don't have to mess around with anything. I don't have to navigate menus to, to find the games. These are my favorite games, right? So I can just get right into it. Uh, as you can see, it is wireless. There's no wires attached to it. Um, it's just a little stand that's holding my phone and a little, uh, you know, it's something to slide the cards in. But it's a really cool thing. Just thought I'd, you know, quickly demonstrate and show you a video. But again, thanks for watching. Until next time.